Hello folks and welcome back to my channel, the Scottish Model Railway Guy. Now what are we going to do today? Well, today we're going to pick up where we left off in episode 1. In episode 1, we had got a basic light circuit together where you're putting 3 volts, 1.5 volts in each Duracell battery onto this to light up the little 3 volt lamp that I got from Temu. Now what I really want to do, you want to have control. So how do you bring about control? You get yourself an on off switch. So how do we get that into the circuit? Now this wire in here is very very thin so we don't want to be putting this in line with this and we will put it in line because I suppose a lot of people get confused about where to put a switch but effectively all you're doing if you've got a line a switch is just doing that it's just breaking the circuit so that's all this is doing when you open that so what I want you to imagine is that if that's the battery I'm putting it in line to the battery and then this can break the circuit it's as simple as that so how do we do that? First of all, we're going to use a Wago connector. So what is a Wago connector? It's not what people think, where it goes in and out like a piece of terminal strip. It's not that. Imagine it goes in and back out. So you're joining one wire to another with this little connector. It is as simple as this. You open it, put that in there. Flick that down, give it a little pull test. Don't want to do too much. And then I'm going to put that in there, bring it down, give it a little pull test. Now, what does that leave us? I'm trying to keep this tidy for video purposes, but very difficult. So I'm going to hold that there. And then I am going to get this one on the end here. Bring them together and that lights up. Now the hard part for me is trying to hold it all together. And then I'm going to flick the switch like this. Really, really simple. So I'm going to move this screwdriver. I'm going to show you if I can open it up a bit, how it's all going. On, off, back on. So what's happening here? Electricity is flowing up here through the switch, which is closed just now, into this connector, and it is just a connector into one side of this. All of this is one polarity, and all of this is another polarity, and then we're going up and looping through there, back down the other side to the negative. A very simple circuit. Now, what I'm looking for for my model railway is for each lamp that's going to go on it to be controllable. So in the next video, um, what I'm going to do, well, I'm going to do two things. The first thing I'm going to do is introduce a voltage regulator. Now this, imagine I'm going to replace the battery. The battery is the Hornby controller. The battery that I'm holding in my right hand is the Hornby controller. From there, I'm going to go the inside with the positive and negative with 12 volts. This is then selectable so that you can have down to 3 volts coming out and it's 3 volts that these lights are. So, and the plan is, one way controller, two wires into this, step down to 3 volts, two wires coming out, power this unit here and then off each one have a positive and negative going to each lamp but I'm going to have to switch it in that wire to break each circuit when I choose. So yeah, very short video today. Um, I hope you understand that very simple electronic circuit. Um, the total cost, this was about £3. This was about £3 and the lamps, four of them 
for about three pounds as well so you can do this for about 10 pounds which is yeah fairly cheap so listen you've came this far uh, thank you for watching to this point i hope you you liked my explanation of the switch and the wago connectors which are actually a bit of a mystery to some people even though they're very simple um if you would like to subscribe i'd much appreciate it for returning subscribers thank you for coming back so this is episode two episode three moves to the layout so make sure when it comes you don't miss it thank you for watching again thank you